Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Minecraft Solutions Private Limited. Today we are going to discuss about how to take screenshots on Windows 10 device. If you not yet subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel and hit on the bell icon for more notifications. Let's dive into our topic. There are two different ways to take a screenshot on a Windows 10 device. The first method is to use the print screen button on your keyboard. And the second method is to use the snip tool. Please watch till the end of this video to get detailed information about the screenshot process. Now you can see one of the pages on our company website, which is mentalcrafts.com. I would like to take a screenshot of the visible part of this page on the screen. So I'm going to use the first method, print screen button. I'm going to press the print screen button on my keyboard. You can see that a small message popped up in the bottom corner saying that an item has been copied to the clipboard. As the system says, the screenshot has been copied to the clipboard of this machine. I can paste this screenshot anywhere straight from my clipboard. So I'm going to open a Word document at the moment and I press Ctrl V. Now you can see that screenshot has been pasted on my Word document and you can do further edits as you do edits on an image. Like you can crop it, I can, you can do whatever you want inside a Word document also you can paste it on any other platform uh, such as paint whatsapp web or uh, photoshop or illustrator anywhere you want so this is the simplest method of taking a screenshot but the problem associated with this method is that this method gives you only the option to take the screenshot of your entire screen whatever on your entire screen but when we are using the second method it will become much more flexible to use that, I'm going to go back to my web page. So here I can either take the screenshot of the entire visible part of the page on my screen or I can take a particular area in my screen. So in order to do that, I am going to open the application called Snipping Tool, which is inbuilt on a Windows 10 device. Using this snipping tool, the screenshot becomes much more easy and flexible. Here, you, if you want to take a new screenshot, what you need to do is you need to select the mode for the first time. If you choose a particular mode, it will be the default mode unless you change it for the next time. I'm going to check what are the modes available here. So clicking here, you can see that there's a free form snip and there's a rectangular snip and there's a window snip and there's a uh, full screen snip. Okay, I'll explain you what are all these things. So I'll go to rectangular snip for the first time. So click on rectangular snip. Right now, you can see that since I selected the mode, my cursor has been changed to a plus sign from the arrow. Here, I can select which part of my screen has to be captured. So I want to capture only the menu section of my website. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to click and drag here. see that section has been captured so it's a rectangular snipping tool so you can uh, snip a particular part of your screen on a rectangular shape once you snip a part of your screen you can do several things with it you can save the image by clicking on the snip snip option here you can copy that image and paste it somewhere which could be a word file or a whatsapp web or any other image editing software or you can straight away send this snip to uh, through an email as an attachment or if you want to make some marks on the snip you can select this pen tool here and the pen tool has different options like it can be you can change the color uh, to red blue black and and you can even customize the color option uh, you can you can adjust the thickness of the pen uh, and you can even change the uh, shape of the tip of the pen uh, here i'm not going to do much edit here so i'm going to make, uh, take it as a medium point pen so once you set it it will become the default option uh, unless you change it next time so i'm going to press ok so i want to make some mark here so i'm gonna gonna mark some space here here so uh, that is also possible and if you i want to highlight something i have a highlighter here so i can highlight one section here and if I want to remove any markings I made on this uh, snip what I can do I have a 
I have an eraser tool here so click on the eraser tool and click on the markings I have just made so it will automatically erase so those are the options available here so it's a very 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 flexible tool for you and uh, let's see what you need to do uh, if you want to take another uh, snip you just need to click on the new button and it will uh, now you can take another screenshot using the snip tool but here in this example i would like to change the mode uh, to free form snip okay i'll show you how it works it, it becomes free form so you can snip in any shape uh, now in free form i can you can see that the cursor has been changed to uh, in the form of a scissor so i want to snip some part of my screen here in any shape so i'm gonna just draw the shape of my snip and you can see that the screen has been snipped in that particular shape so you can do the rest of the stuff like that okay with your pen or email you can save copy anything you want okay and let's see another mode of snip um, let's see the window snip so the window snip help you to snip enter window of an application which appears on your screen so right now this entire window has been selected so the window means only the window it won't select the uh, taskbar okay so that's a good part so just click on the screen and it has taken the screenshot now you can see that this this has excluded the uh, taskbar there's no taskbar here so this is another uh, method so this snipping tool is the best companion of a, a Windows 10 user in, in a professional or a personal environment. All right. So I hope you understood the concept of uh, taking screenshots in, in Windows 10 devices uh, using two different methods. If you like my videos, please subscribe to it, my channel and also hit the bell icon for notifications uh, for more, more videos like this. I'll be posting a different video next time uh, which explains more about clipboards on Windows 10. So you can watch it and you can understand the concept of clipboards and how it will benefit from on, a, on a daily basis. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you on the next video. Thank you.